Sciatic Nerve Anatomy 3D Animation The sciatic nerve arises from the spinal nerves of L4 through S3. It has two components, the common perineal nerve and the tibial nerve. Here is a model that shows the sciatic nerve from different views. Here you can see the spinal nerves from L4 to S3 and how the sciatic nerve is composed. The sciatic nerve runs down the posterior thigh with its two terminal branches the common perineal and the tibial nerves. The nerve emerges from the pelvis below the piriformis muscle and enters the thigh between the ischial tuberosity and the greater trochanter. In about 10% of patients, the sciatic nerve is separated in the greater sciatic foramen. Here you can see a picture of the nerve going underneath the piriformis muscle. The nerve usually separates into its two main branches in the upper part of the popliteal fossa. The common perineal nerve is the one that most commonly affected by traction injury, especially during total hip replacement if the extremity is lengthened or from traction such as posterior approach to the hip. You want to keep the knee flexed and the hip extended during traction to avoid injury to the sciatic nerve. If the injury occurs, it usually affects the common perineal nerve. The patient probably will get foot drop or weakness of foot dorsiflexion. It's also important to know innervation of the short head of the biceps femoris is the common perineal nerve in the middle of the thigh, which is different than the long head of the biceps femoris. Innervation of the long head of the biceps femoris is the tibial nerve. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.